Hello again, this is Michael Kinsler here from Qtail Web Design and we're moving on to changing your colors. Now the SEO is all done, so I haven't actually loaded up any products or done anything with the website yet. But we can start here with changing the colors. So basically, as you can see, the colors are fairly medium, nothing really strange. It's just we've got this horrible bar that goes all the way across. and we can go through it here changing all these colors even the size of the text and this can be all done from the admin side so log back into your account and we go into appearance settings this will change anything on the website how it appears on the World Wide Web now there's two ways we can do this and these are the two little lads here so we're going to change site colors click on that and this is basically what you have out on the internet top bars menus text all that kind of stuff so we have templates set up in here and you can change that to there or you can have it down to mixed brown or whatever you want tan blue okay so there we go there's one there so w what we do is we we'll save that everything you do when you change something remember to get into your head you have to change save the, the changes and what we do is then we we'll refresh this and then if you want to see your site updated just go in and refresh your page that little boy there and this will actually show you what's showing on the internet now as you can see wow it's kind of jumping out a wee, a wee bit so we don't want that so we go back into this again and we change it back to where it was grey orange I think it was yeah save it wait for the little icon to come up because it has to upgrade the server and then refresh and you'll see this change back to the way it was now there we go so that's where we started so now I don't like this bar so I'm going to chop that out okay so this is fairly straight easy done we go back into appearance now you probably notice down here there's shortcuts I don't use them too regularly but on this occasion I will so edit side colors so now this whole section here <coughs> me again. <coughs> is actual the colors of your website as it, as it stands right now and each time you go and change one of your templates it will change all these colors and as you can see the body is the background color that's actual numbered and that's the actual color and all you have to do is then if you want to pick a custom color is go in here and change your custom colors or more colors and it will come up with then a bigger display of colors and you can actually go in and pick out the colors that you want name colors uh, the the web safe all that kind of stuff so that's basically you can pick your own custom so every website the, that's actually on trial you can actually build it your own colors which is quite amazing Mo normally they just give you a few colors but this here has the whole range of colors so anyway let's get back to what I was doing the site itself you can have all those changes the bars the box the page the catalog and the forms these are all the colors which come out on them and the best thing to do is is actually take before you actually start is actually take a photocopy of this page and have it beside you so you don't have to keep chasing around looking for the numbers you just go back to if you make a mistake you can actually go in and change it back again so change one thing at a time so I'm gonna chop off that bar now if we notice that it's 444 is the background so now I'm looking for the bar side so there it is there so we take that out and this is how simple it is you just copy and paste most of my stuff will be copy and paste and paste save the changes 
and now we refresh the page and there you have it and there you go there's the side gone so when it's seen on the internet it's actually not you you see you don't see those bars because you've kept your background the same now you notice that this bottom bar has not got the same so we go back into that bars at the bottom take that out put this in copy and paste and save the changes and then refresh once this is done and you refresh and notice the way it's taken out all the bottom here that's because the color was the same as the text so this is some things you can look out for so we'll put that back in again so we just pick a color the bars paste and then we save the changes and then we come back to it this is where you have to be very careful that you check every time you check every time that you make a change that it doesn't change somewhere else so there you go that's, a, that's it all back again and that's how it's done and basically you can actually mess around in here for a long time to get your colors right but I wouldn't waste too much time in here basically that color there is fairly good it's fairly well set up you can change the background and change your bar but these colors here and the text sizes are quite good okay so that'll be the images and I'll show you the next one then okay thank you